Legend of Total War here with part 7 of my Emperor Edition Imperator Augustus Let's Play campaign as Armenia. On the last episode, we uh, actually it's been a while since I've played this. To be honest, I can't really remember. I've been back and forth with um, Parthia, the motherfuckers, and struggling to get some ground against them, but I think we're getting there. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to manually resolve the battles, and I'll just explain the reason why I've auto-resolved most of these battles so far is because of my troop quality. These Eastern Spearmen, I couldn't have a lower opinion of them. Um, now, when it comes to this game, generally speaking, auto-resolve, I auto-resolve battles that I feel I couldn't really do any better manually resolved, and in those situations is where you have not professional troops. So when you've got numbers, rather than quality, which is what I've got, auto-resolve tends to be more favourable. For one, save a lot of time on what would be a shit battle. To get, would sort of rush towards the more professional troops. Now, I've just researched Royal Stables, so we'll be able to get a Zat Knight soon. So I'm working towards a more professional army. That being said, I've had a look at the um, Armenian roster now, finally, and it's not fantastic. I mean, their best melee infantry is Persian hoplites, as far as what I can see. Or Eastern hoplites, I don't know. Um, and elite Persian um, archers. So those are alright, but it's going to take a while to get them. But I also need to manage my economy efficiently, which requires philosophy techs. Not economy te techs. I know I got a comment like that, it was fucking stupid, but whatever. Um, because for me, economy is money and public order, and you get the most of that through philosophy. Um, let's see, that takes 21 turns, so I mean, that's a really good tech, but that could possibly wait. I don't seem to have a problem with public order right now. This would provide cultural influence. What I really do need is infantry. Need better infantry. This will probably allow me to get Persian Hoplites. So let's go with that. It's only three turns away, but of course I need a place f from which to recruit them. This would be a good spot, but actually that's available soon. That being said, I could just destroy one of them. Um, Alright. Antony has progressed against Parthia as well. Good, I want to get rid of the East before turning on him. Not that I'm allied with him anymore. I um, broke free of my client state status. Alright, enough of that shit. Let's focus on what needs to be done. Looks like we've still... We've got Parthia coming in over here. This is my guy, yep. I need to see what's going on. I don't think he can quite make it... No, he can make it there. How good are you? Oh, this is the king bastard. Uh, you're pretty good. By sabotaging them keep them stuck there, I suppose. Plus, they won't get any recovery. Also, my money per turn is absolute bullshit. You'd be fucking kidding me. I've been really unlucky in this campaign so far. I think I've had a pretty bad start, and it's largely due to a new patch. Whenever a new fucking patch comes out, I go right back from being good at the game to being average, and a fucking annoying. So I gotta learn how to replay Emperor Edition. Because I didn't do any practice beforehand. And I didn't get a fucking pre-release copy like everyone from the UK did, apparently. Because I'm fucking in the penal col colonies of Australia. Hot fucking desert shit. Alright, you administrate to him. Saves me a little bit of money. And you, yeah, you need a lot of recovery as well. In fact, probably more so than them. So you stay here. And you come in here, because we need more recovery from you. Being inside the city generates more recovery. Over here, we're going to recruit another army. I really can't afford it. That's a fucking problem. What's the tax rate? Can we justify jacking this up a little bit? Yeah, I think so. Because that's going to be done soon. Alright. Food seems stable. Building that. One. Minus one food for public order. Let's, uh, let me see. How are we going up here? Public order is not as fantastic. Okay, I'm going to 
put the tax rate down actually because that t settlement there is a big money maker but at the same time I don't want public order problems because that'll keep the tax rate high anyway by keeping high public order okay let's just move on to the next one I, oh, hang on let's go to diplomacy I, I really need some fucking trade agreements I know I can't really get one with these guys no, I won't do it I've got steadfast reputation uh, no one's gonna bloody trade with me are they greetings now speak plainly now, just move on to the next turn. Can't do much. It's going to be a big grinding until I can get more professional armies, and then I can manually resolve a lot more of the battles which are um, against my favour. Well, if it's against my favour in the first place, then I'd be manually resolving it. Raiding in my fucking territory, son of a bitch. Military sabotage, poison provisions. Wait, what was that? They poisoned these provisions here. But still, I recovered more than I lost. But, of course, can't move them, that's a real... Well, I can't move them very far. Population surplus... Where? Not here, in Caucasia, which is here. I need more money. I'm going to go about doing that. I still haven't really grasped what's better to go with. I mean, I think public order is more important than, than money, to be honest. Because if I've got public order, then I can jack up the tax rate. Okay, also, th this is important. I need to keep an eye on this. Now, I know that this kind of uh, influence is likely going to lead to um, civil... It's actually quite cheap. Yoink. Um, civil war. But then again, if I hold all the cards, then the Civil War might actually be quite weak. I'm certainly not for avoiding Civil War, if Civil War can be beneficial to me. I, like I said, I just don't know what's to come in this new patch. And so it just it requires trial and error. It sometimes requires great risk. I mean, you saw me do this kind of stuff when Rome 2 first came out. That's how I learned so much, by just going in there, acting like a shithead as Rome and fucking learning the game inside and out by making fucking mistakes, not being so overly cautious and making sure that every decision I make was actually good. Sometimes you've got to make a bad decision. Smash this bastard. That guy's completely crippled. And the spy of mine is getting better. What are you doing? Yep, yeah, make sure he's in Trapezos. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. Just leave him there, let him rot there. We've got you as a statesman. Could secure a promotion? Nah, I don't think that's really needed. Ah, oh, shit. Even knowing that even more. Got to stop making political actions. So if I'm going to hire anyone, make sure it's of my dynasty. Then again, I've got plenty of people here. Don't worry about it. Okay, I think what we need mostly right now is public order. So I think that the shrine is the best way to go about that. I really need to see what's going on down here. Got to retake this shit. Okay, Antony has smashed Parthian forces out this way. If we're going to attack the Parthians, we should do so soon. Okay. Mm, I can't really leave this place with this guy st standing around here. I can't fucking catch him. But then he's not moving this turn. 
Oh, fuck, I'm just torn between impossible decisions. I want to take the settlement, but at the same time, you know what, fuck it, let's go. Okay, I need to not be taxing this territory, I think. It's not worth that much money. You guys get ready to initiate the attack. Don't bother spending any money on here yet. We could lose these territories again. Public order here is going well. Garrison settlement is what I want. So go ahead with that then. But then again, it costs food. I'll just go ahead with it. It'll make more money, better garrison, whatever. Gotta spend it on something. Okay, uh, no point doing any more diplomacy. What about agents? How are we going with that? I could get more, but I don't really need it. Let's move on. get rid of Parthia first, and then we can start worrying about everyone else. Parthia is the big threat, and it's client fucking states. Okay. I have a feeling that they got sabotaged again. So what are we, what are we up against here that's giving us such poor odds? Because I've got Persian cavalry here. They're ready to roll. Ah, no reinforcements. That's why. So they were sabotaged. So withdraw. You'd be able to help them out if they were attacked. Yeah, see, they won't fucking do it. And there's the Persians. Fuck's sake, it's just, it's just relentless. I just don't have a good enough army to be able to take on army after army after army every single time. I need need to rest afterwards because these guys take so much damage because I've got his fucking eastern infantry. You're at full strength, halfway sabotaged. Right, but they're in the sphere of influence of this guy, so they can't move until this army's been dealt with. That army that was here is gone. Um, this here is not a huge threat, but if we sabotage it... What if we got rid of this guy? Because he's really getting on my nerves. Chances of success are not great. I think I'd prefer to sabotage this guy. Because there's much better chances. Tell me it was critical. It's not. They can still reach Gazaka. Let them fucking come there. At least they'll be stuck there if they take it. What we need to do is take this fucking army down. We're at near full strength. Again, this is a battle where I think auto resolve is my best choice because look at the odds. I mean, I'm only going to lose like fucking. 13% of my army, whereas I f if I fight this manually, I guarantee I will lose more than that. And I will not be able to kill every single one of them, plus it saves me like fucking half an hour. God damn it. Though, I wouldn't have lost all those fucking cavalry units. On the move, my lord. They've still got enough movement to be able to make it all the way down to Ekbatana. These guys, on the other hand, if they were put on force march, they could garrison the city. We fight for you, my lord. Well, they need to be the ones to attack, sort of. Let's see, I wouldn't be able to use my cavalry in the battle. It's risky, but we need to really fucking press the motherfucking attack. Do some goddamn damage to them, because it's just going nowhere. 
Oh, you've got to be shitting me. We can't take that down. You're gonna have to get out of the, out of the army, so these guys can force march themselves. Up here, where they'll be out of reach of these guys. And you, just regular march. Actually, just stay right here. Because we need time to recover. You. Actually, i got a better idea. You, move over here. And you administrate to him. Okay, well these guys have a few extra troops, they might be able to support a little bit. My economy is just really bad. Can't get any additional trade agreements, okay. We need this, we need better troops which requires infantry camps. This will allow me to get Hillman and Eastern Archers. Hillman I don't care for, still better than bloody Eastern shit. Slight recovery because I've got plenty of food. Would have been nice if they could have entered the city. But no such luck. Let's see if I can actually get a peace treaty with these guys, because I really just can't seem to take them on. Am I always to be disturbed? What about Persia? The door is up. Uh, I can't deal with them at all because they're client states. I think what we need is another stack, but they're just so expensive. I'm waiting on better cavalry as well. The Azat Knights are on their way. So once again, we just need to move on to the next turn. What's going on? Now that motherfucker's back. He must have had a turn of recovery. Don't trespass over my lands. But seriously, I can't really deal with you anyway, so I guess I don't have much leverage. Sons of bitches. Wounded. Good. So we got rid of their agent. At least temporarily. And how are we going here? Bit of recovery, that's good. Now these two armies here look pretty damn shit. Full of fucking eastern spearmen. I reckon we could take it down, even if they help as well. Okay, so we also finished a tech, which was this. Um Exotic animal studs we do not need. 25% ammunition, yeah, whatever, we'll get to that. So when do we get Royal Barracks? Right here. 3% extra replenishment rate. Certainly sounds enticing. So does that. But then again, I don't know, you can't turn down bloody public order like this. Why does that take more time now than it did previously? Oh, whatever. It'll take us some time to get our infantry set up anyway. There's no point taking any settlements if we don't deal with these goddamn armies. Alright, let's see, this army here is a giant pile of dog shit, so it doesn't really matter if it gets involved. 
problem is this, these guys aren't quite ready yet. Doesn't really matter if I lose some Persian cavalry though. I'd want to replace them with uh, with the Zat Knights anyway. Alright, sabotage this guy because you'll do the most damage to him. Are you able to come down here? Yep. What are we going to do about you? You can't really attack any settlements. If need be, we can hire another general there. Yeah, and just hire some mercenaries. Still a little bit poor. What are we going to do? Okay, if you come here and take this, they'll get no recovery on their turn, but who knows what else there is down here. I'm just going to assume there's not that much, so just fuck it, let's do it. Okay, the battle is hugely in our favour, but what kind of casualties will we be taking? Not much. Again, there's no point manually resolving this. I probably wouldn't do much better, and most of the casualties will probably be in the Eastern Infantry. Eastern Spearmen, whatever. I'm not going to manually resolve any battles. It would be a, wouldn't give me a better result, because I'm all about the fucking results. See, who gives a shit? It's all good. And this settlement here... No, we don't want to loot it. Don't want to raise it either. Let's occupy, even though it won't give any money. Because so I don't think it does. Now, you actually stay here, because we're in a good defensive position. Artillery over the walls would be great against their ladders. So that they have to use their uh, stupid, crappy, uh, what's it called, flaming torches against the, the gate, which is a really, really bad way to go about the battle. I'm not going to spend any money on this province, though, not until we've cleared these guys out. And you. If these three armies come up against us... Mm, stay at Fraspa. Let's lure them over to Gazaka, at least that way. All we have to do is beat them and we can take out an entire army. Because holding the settlement really isn't a big deal. It's not providing much money. Well, it wasn't providing any until now, now that I'm taxing it. Oh, no, I think the situation is getting better. We really need another stack. I'm crying out for one. Fuck off. We're going to have better infantry soon. Public order is stable. Don't bother spending money on it then. Food is good. Don't bother about that. Maybe I should just save up some cash. I hate fucking saving up cash though. I want to be spending. I can justify that though. It's only one food. Wait a second. If I was to upgrade this instead, I'd need 3,500. Yeah, let's not spend anything. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Taking a couple of big risks, but I think I've got to. I mean, it doesn't really matter if this army does die. The only units in there that are any good are the artillery. Okay, this is not necessarily a good thing, but at least they're going to be stuck here, unless they loot it, which I'm not sure if they can do. Standing over here so they can get recovery. If I sabotage them and then take the territory, it does leave me vulnerable, but that's not the end of the world. Alright, it's a bit of a trade-off. 
These guys are almost at full strength. Okay, if we did this battle, we'd probably have to manually resolve it. Okay, Antony's right over here. He can certainly help. Let's come on, Antony. Let's let's reunite old friendships, Your huh? Goes you. What about non-aggression pact? Come on, you bastard! I am sure you speak with an honest tongue, but for us, I cannot greet your bastard. Whatever. Aren't you at war with enough people that you could use an ally? I'm just not going to be your fucking client state, bitch. Okay, this guy's clearly heading towards our ta our taxa. If we force march over there, we can stop it. These guys shouldn't have a problem repelling that. Especially with the garrison as well. The garrison being a bit buffed up thanks to the military buildings here. Okay, and from this territory we can now upgrade it. Unlocks recruitment of noble spearmen. Fuck, that wasn't on the bloody readout. Oh, maybe because I didn't check level 2. Noble spearmen sound good. Fuck, let me get some of those. Maybe Armenia's not as bad as I thought. The encyclopedia is shit. I think it's structured incredibly crap. I'm fuck, I was looking on there for about half an hour trying to find out the ins and outs of Armenia, and then just go and play it for fucking five minutes, and you find out something that you spent half an hour on the fucking thing you couldn't find. All I wanted to find was what kind of infantry they fucking had. Now I know. They've actually got something good. I should have aimed for that at the fucking beginning. Could have saved myself 20 turns. Noble Spearman at level 2. God, if I had known that, I would have gone straight for it. You know, I'm so pissed off, I'm going to take my anger out on these motherfucking Persians. Good, nice, dry day, but unfortunately we're fighting in woods, which I fucking hate. Everyone knows I hate fighting in forests. I need to be able to see what I'm doing, especially if I've got cavalry. And I don't have many eastern spearmen. Not that that's a big deal. They're piles of shit. Alright, anyway. They'll probably want to come to me. Yep, there they are. Alright, so what are we doing? Don't skirmish mode. Do we have to wait for them to fucking come here? No, they're not moving. We'll have to go to them. I hate this army. I think it's a big pile of shit that I've got here. The reason I don't like these Persian cavalry very much is because they're anti-cav, and I'm really not up against anti-cav much. And if I am up against cav, it's light shit. And essentially, I've got anti-cav infantry. I don't have anything here that's anti-infantry apart from slingers. Ready to Advance at speed. What am I doing with you? And even these royal cataphracts, I haven't been particularly impressed with them. They're just not maneuverable. Even light cav is probably probably a better investment, but I don't really have any access to it. Fucking hate forest. Okay, you can have come up over here. And yes, run. Because running's the way to go. Walking's for pussies. Get a better look of what we got here. They've got a very uh, skirmisher based army. I think what I need to do is send these guys in basically just to one side and then send the cavalry, basically roll them up like carpet, just completely destroy one flank. I don't think these guys are going to do anything. I fucking hate horse skirmishers. I think they're the shittest fucking cavalry you can get. 
Because they've got like no ammunition. They use their ammunition. And then, then what? You can't put them in melee. Useless shits. And they're annoying to fight as well. Because I like to have units that not just trade off, but can do severe damage. Like legionaries and heavy cavalry. I think these guys are just fucking shit. People often say to me about Tarantine Cavalry, how much they like them. I fucking hate Tarantine Cavalry. Wouldn't hire them if my life fucking depended on it. Because I'd fucking know they'd fail me. I like units that can kill more than their, uh, their numbers. So, for example, you've got an, a battalion of 80. You can kill more than 80 men. get into position here. Some cavalry is um, stronger than others. Okay, they need a little bit of a rest. Okay, all good. Okay, sending my cavalry against their eastern spearmen is not a good idea. That's why we need to lock them in fight first. And kill their motherfucking general. If we kill their general, get them army routing, that's what we want to do. That fuck is not going to just allow himself to get attacked. Fuck shooting me over here. Eastern slingers, kiss my ass. Oh, that's really inefficient what I'm doing here. Okay, guys, get into a big blob. All concentrate and attack on one person. Like I said, what we need to be doing is killing this prick here. So we're going to punch through the lines. I'm not actually aiming for their slingers. I'm actually aiming for their median cavalry. Or median cavalry, however it's fucking pronounced. These guys aren't going to last for too long. So we need to hurry. Actually, I will put you on skirmish mode. You guys get over here as well. Get your ass into gear. You guys, come on. Let's fuck up these... Midian cavalry. Useless shits, these eastern spearmen are. Fucking useless piles of crap. Wavering. You got Inspire? Fucking inspire the bastard and rally them for fucks. Oh fuck, he's too slow. He's not even there. God damn it, I can't see a fucking thing. Their general's just gone pissed off. What the fuck are you doing? Don't skirmish in the wrong direction. Okay, smash him in the back here, because this is going nowhere trying to hunt down their general. He's just fucked off. I can't find him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's funny. Can't find him. Oh, there he is. General, you're going to need to get into this as well. Smash into their rear here. Just cause chaos. Yeah, sort of poor sandwich, you fucking prick. What's this over here? Eastern slingers and shit, just fuck them up. We don't need to smash the entire army, we just need to get them routing. So far the casualties that I've taken are completely acceptable. I can't fucking see shit thanks to these motherfucking trees. Okay, you guys chase after these poor skirmishes, whatever. Okay, well the battle's definitely won. We just need to finish them off. Okay, you get out of there. Fucking horse skirmishes. Yeah, they're about to rout. Good. 
I think I did better than what auto resolve would have yielded. For one thing, uh, I would have lost all of my cavalry. Now I just lost a little bit of it. But they were key to winning this. And as you can see, these eastern spearmen, they did jack shit. All they did was keep these guys occupied so the cavalry could, could smash into the back. Which is really all infantry is needed for as Armenia. But that being said, I could have used a bit more time. And that's why I need to aim for those noble spearmen. Because not only are they going to be able to hold themselves up against eastern spearmen, but it buys me more time to do a better cavalry charge, because that was just all over the fucking place. And of course, I'll be trying to aim for better cavalry. These guys are kind of mid to low grade. Okay, they're dead, but I still have to worry about these two armies because they're close by. Uh, we'll be just occupying this. At your command. Okay, by sabotaging this army here, it's not going to bother us. Not that that's a particularly big worry. Neither is that. I think if they fought, we'd be able to handle it. That being said, I think Aunt Antony's going to deal with them before their turn. So let's just sabotage you, so you're stuck here. You piece of shit! I really fucking needed you to succeed right there. Alright, I'm gonna send this guy in, because we really need this sabotaged. Chances of success are crap, don't even bother with it. Oh well, we'll just have to fucking put them up. That saves us a bit of cash. Really fucking unlucky with this guy lately. What else are we doing? Need more territories. I think Frostburg is safe. But I'm not certain. Public order penalties. Raiding. Right. It's because of those motherfuckers. Oh well. Hopefully Anthony helps me out there. Okay, I'm going to turn this into a garrison settlement because I think I can defend this at least for three turns for that to get done. At Ekbatana, I'm not too sure. Hang on a sec. Uh, this is at full strength. If they want to come here and take Ekbatana back, then maybe that's okay because I think that all their forces are over here. Maybe I should push onto Arsakia. It's risky, so let's ha first have a look at what's there. Nothing. Just fucking do it. This is another auto resolve battle. Anyway, it doesn't matter if I lose my entire army, these armies need replacing as soon as I get my noble spearmen. Which, they'll be more expensive armies, but they'll be better at the same time. Okay, so this region here has Shield Maker. That's been upgraded. I'm not going to upgrade any of these motherfuckers. Forget that shit. What's this here? Ah, oh, crap. What kind of mercenaries we got here? Mercenary Persian Cavalry. We'll just have to do it the best we can if they decide to attack. Oh, god damn it. They're here as well. It could lead to a defeat, but fuck it, we're stuck here now. Um, what I might do, let me just see, because I do not want to lose this general of mine, is send him back home and just replace him with someone else. Other families, I'm, uh, there's only other families to get. I'm not going to get someone that gets Gravitas. Whatever, let's get you as noble spearman. Okay, and your job is just to 
to hold them back. Doesn't really matter if I lose the, the army, which, if I do get attacked, I probably will. I mean, these guys truly are a piece of shit. And, um, artillery can easily be replaced. Okay, still got a bit of money left over. What to spend it on? It's, um, I'm still waiting for that done, aren't I? I'm gonna save up my money. So, I also need more agents. Wait, what are you doing? Ah, oh, so you're upgrading the... the, um public order there. Need someone else doing it here. No, we don't need it for there. We need it down here. We could also use another agent, just in general. Also, we've got an edict. Let's use Bread and Games. Let's get you. I'm sure you'll be of some help. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Come on, Anthony, take them down. Son of a bitch. It's going to be hard for me to take both of those armies on, but I think it's possible. Okay, that's good for me. They're not too bold about it. And Persia, what do you got planned? Okay. Auto resolve says lose half my army. But again, half of my army when it's dog shit doesn't really matter. I'm not expecting anyone else to come here. To be honest, if I fought this manually, there's always a chance I'll lose it. Didn't lose any battalions. They lose their cavalry. There's always a chance. No, it's all good. Okay. So, risk reward, I got the better of him on that one. Yeah, that's all. You better fuck off. Sabotage at our Sakya. Poison the wells. Blackmail. That's oh, only eight gravitas. It's not worth that. Okay, the only problem is that this guy, he um, he won the battle, so I should adopt him. Ha, <laughs> 67. But it cost me a bit in uh, political power, which is it's not necessarily a bad thing. Anyway, the other guy is returned. He's going to be providing public order, or whatever, um, influence for the faction. What to do now? So if I have a look at these guys. What can we recruit? So we've finally got Azat Knights. These guys are good against... Um, oh, so these are bonus versus large as well. I thought they were bonus versus infantry. Or did they fucking change that since the last patch? That being said, they are expensive, but good. There's Noble Blood. They're also good against cavalry. Everything's anti-cav. Eastern Cataphracts I can get. What about infantry? So the difference between Hillman... And Eastern Spearmen are... Hillmen are slightly better. Like, ever so slightly... Then again, they've got low armor. I'd just say that Eastern Spearmen are probably better than them. We've got Archers. I think Archers are better than uh, Slingers, to be honest. Oh, they're not Slingers. Though. They also have 150 range. Wouldn't mind the Elite... Eastern Archers. So if I was to get this, it unlocks Royal Cataphracts, which I don't particularly care for. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to end the video here. Situation's looking better, but it's still difficult, but we're getting there. Anyway, like and subscribe. Part 8 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. I'll see you next time, fuckers.